Villanova, Gillespie, Justin Moore, Slater, Samuels, and the big guy, Eric Dixon. And four, Matt Painter and the Purdue Boilermakers, Jaden Ivey, Isaiah Thompson, Stefanovic had a big day yesterday. First, and Edie, Villanova controls, and we are underway. Matchup of the size of Purdue and Villanova, more linebackers, enough to run a 3-4 defense. They get Gillespie on the kickout. He had a wide open look, couldn't knock it down. And here comes Ivy. Feed inside, Edie harassed, flips it up, rounds it home. Right off the bat, they go right into the 7-4 sophomore who is one of the most improved players in college basketball. He got too deep on that possession, John, in transition. Yeah, will Villanova have an answer for both Edie and, as well, Trayvon Williams? Hesitation, nice move, and Moore gets in, puts it home, and ties us up in two. You saw something interesting right there. Justin Moore went right at Edie, and Edie did not have the foot speed. Watch how deep Edie catches this ball in front of the rim. you got to do your work early on him. Too deep. But on the other end, here's the issue for Matt Painter. Edie out on the floor. No chance to guard Justin Moore. So 2 2 here in the early going. Villanova and Purdue. John Shambi, Fran for Schilla here in Connecticut. Still to come against North Carolina and Tennessee. But this our championship game. Will less be another look. Barry Zetler. John, if you transported yourself four months from now to New Orleans. You could see these two teams out there. That, that's how good a matchup we have this afternoon. Yeah, there's no question. These are two elite level teams. One of the things is with feet inside. Edie off the mark, gets the offensive rebound. Able to put it back in. I'll tell you, that was great basketball by Edie. They harassed him. You know what I saw there? Great hands. Well, Fred, consider this. I stole this from John Rothstein in the country. Of all the Power Five schools, only four teams elected to not take a transfer. Stanford and Utah, Villanova and Purdue are the other two. So these are two rosters built not on transfers. And went off the mark. Edie pulls it down. You're not going to hear that a lot. We're going to be talking about transfers a lot this year. No doubt. These teams, they build their programs from the ground up. Well, they get a foul on Samuels as he shoves Stefanovic to the ground. Sasha Stefanovic had a big game yesterday. 23 points at five three-pointers. He can really shoot. It. What I love about him is not just the great shooting, is how fast he cuts off of all those screens that Matt Painter sits. You've got to turn him into a two-point shooter today. Ivy turns the corner. Puts it off the glass and in. Scouting report right there. You can't let him go right. He is dynamic to that right hand. Great job by Jaden Jay Knightley to start this game. Dixon pops out, sets the screen back to Dixon. Shot clock is under 10. Samuels. Shot is short. It'll go out of bounds. Good defense by Purdue. Watch this drive by Jaden Ivey. This is what we talk about. He's got elite speed to the basket. And listen, he goes left too, but he goes right 75 miles an hour. If there was some left, it's only about 60 miles an hour. Edie had it knocked away, but Stavonovic tracks it down, hoists it up. And Edie the rebound and the putback. And Zach Edie here in the early going with six points. This kid's amazing, John. You know, he's got some limitations. We saw it with foot speed, but his hands, his agility, he's only been playing basketball just a handful of years out of Toronto. Yeah, I don't think you're used to seeing a guy 7-4 at quite as coordinated as he is. No way. Moore gets inside, beat the defense, but couldn't finish. Two by three, Ivy launches. 
two Villanova players hit the deck. Dixon actually tapped it off of Moore, and it goes out of bounds. And it'll end up being Purdue basketball. The one thing we've seen from Edie already is he hasn't blocked a shot yet, but he has definitely affected those drives by Villanova. Look at that stop start. with the foul. How about this fella? You're going to enjoy watching Zach Eady today. Seven foot four. I don't know. 280, 290. The agility. Amazing. Mr. Hammonds, Haas, uh, Matt Harms. He knows how to coach big guys. I'm not sure Matt Painter even knew this kid would come along this quickly as a sophomore at 19. Two games so far, Purdue with a 50 to 20 points in the paint advantage. And Travion Williams, who is so good up front for Purdue, checks into the game, coming off the bench. Could be one of the best players in the Big Ten. And here he is. Nice look. And he feeds Caleb first for the flush. Both of these teams, but particularly Purdue, they are so good in moving off the ball when the ball goes into the post. Javion Williams, one of the best passers in the country from the low post. Out of bounds. Villanova maintains possession. What we love about Travion Williams is he looks middle every time he gets it. Just dump off now. You always catch look middle of the floor because you can locate all 90 feet, all 90% all of the court. Samuels ends it in the Purdue run to the three. Villanova right now, remember, five guys that can all shoot the three. So that'll bring Williams and Edie away from the basket some. Williams with Dixon on him. Backing down. With the rebound, they'll set it back up. Ivy inside offensive foul. Great move by Ivy on the perimeter. We talked about that change of direction, but he got himself out of control. And what Villanova does, as well as anybody, you know it, they're going to stand in there, take the blow, and pick up the charge. I said earlier, John, you know, size, yes, Purdue's got the advantage. Girth, physicality, I think it's even. Yeah. Ivy will sit for the first time. Brandon Newman checking into the game for the Boilermakers. Purdue with a two-point advantage. Going over ball, Gillespie. Moves it to Slater. His jumper is off the mark. And the rebound pulled down by Newman. Wide open three. That one again and then tipped out of bounds. It'll stay Purdue basketball. One of the things I love about Travion Williams, we've already mentioned the passer. He's one of the best offensive rebounders in the country. Go look at those Ken Palm numbers last year. I think he was three or four, John. Great nose for the basketball. I think I'm feuding with Ken Palm right now because I I complained when he would tweet out every time a team was eliminated from the yeah. unbeaten. Yes. I only complained once. How many how many unbeaten? There's still a game. A lot of them. Oh, good. Beat inside Williams. Get that ball through the right corner and that one off the mark from Newman and there's that rebound that you talked about Newman another shot at it. hits that one yep. finally gets one to go Brandon Newman and Purdue by five in this part of the country they love Paul Silas the great Celtic and that was a Paul Silas rebound he sealed the defender into the lane there was no way anybody was going to get that ball Purdue but, with nine second chance points already in this one and they've out rebounded Villanova 11 of Gillespie, got it. Colin Gillespie answers. Both of these teams shooting over 40% from three to start the season. Well, Fran, one of the things about Travion Williams yesterday, talk about instant offense. Travion Williams had 20 points in 13 minutes yesterday. Amazing. Coming off the bench, former starter. Puts it on the floor, kick to the corner. 
Purdue will maintain possession. The Bakers with the early two-point lead. And folks, a reminder, Monday Night Football with Peyton and Eli. It's on ESPN2 and ESPN Plus. At 8 p.m., Eli gets to break down his former team, the Giants. While well, both will pay special attention to Bucks QB Tom Brady. Cannot wait to see who the special guests will be. Monday Night Football coverage also available on ESPN and the ESPN app. The Manning cast. That's been a fun watch. Absolutely. Giants getting a little better. Ivy from D. Gillespie rebounds it. Samuels and Dixon with the rebound to fight for it. And they get the foul on Hunter. Same so much situation there. Dixon on the back side was working it. You know that shot's going to come off 70% of the time opposite. Dixon, just like Williams, in a great spot to offensive rebound. Jaden Ivey, the rebound, and here he comes. And that shot short. Mason Gillis into the game. And that's going to be offensive interference. Williams knows it, too. Oh, Great hustle. Into your living room right here. Yeah, watch this. I say no because I'm thinking as a coach, don't do that. You know, if this was international basketball, it would count. And Travion's like, no, man, it's going in. Should they go to that rule? Should they go I to love that rule? Yeah. yeah, I love that rule. There are some good FIBA rules that you like, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, Ben John, even that play, I don't mind that play because that day might be such an aggressive player that you, you'd rather don't, don't do that to check his post. Yeah, it's straight instinct. Yeah. Got a score period. Absolutely. Know? 12 minutes to go here. First half championship game from Mohegan Sun. Samuels and out of bounds. Purdue leading it by two. Jaden Ivey will have a special message from mom that's coming up. Last year, she spent the year with the Memphis Grizzlies. But whenever we do games, John, there's always a family affair. We've seen it. I lived it. And uh, Purdue, no different. We've got a couple kids that we know about. Samuels buries one. Well. Speaking of Purdue, players of parents coaching in D1, not just Jay Ivey, but Conzo Martin's son, and as well, Jared Wolverine. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, Jared is put together. He could have walked around here without a T-shirt. Williams backing down on Dixon, tied up, yeah. and now we're untied. Two for easy. Purdue in the league. Villanova rarely doubles that. So their calculation is, you don't want to give up the three, but that's too easy. His footwork is exemplary. Samuels with Gillis on him. I mentioned Mason Gillis making his season debut. More of that coming up. Gillespie off balance and off the mark. Out of bounds, Purdue basketball. Yeah, tough shots so far. I think a couple of tough shots by Gunnar. You can expect that with this defense. Edie back in. Williams will sit. They will very rarely play together. I mean, it was something that when Zach Edie came to Purdue, I think Matt Painter initially hoped they could be able to play together, but you said you went over to video last year. How many yeah. times were they on the court together? I, I could only find four possessions. I, I did this during the summer, yeah. and it was usually at the end of the half. Like a special situation. But here's the issue. I don't think they ever thought Zach Edie would be this ready this soon. Yeah, Stefanovic. Well, so quick of the release. And I say no because you cannot go under that screen with him. You have to get on his back numbers, chase him off the line, and make him a two-point shot. He is great off the boot. Gillespie backs down as he goes to work on Hunter. Uh, knocked away. Caleb Daniels pulls up on Ivy. And he needs a rebound.
tremendous potential down the road. Boilermaker showing off the offensive versatility. As you see, Ivy, a top 10 NBA prospect. Purdue early, first 10 points of the game were in the paint. Nine of their last 11 are from the three-point line. Well, they have so much depth, John. And they've also done a great job defensively because I don't think Villanova's gotten a ton of great looks. But now they're taking away the post-up game with Edie. Gillespie. And good job from the corner. And more able to rattle at home. When we said yesterday about Villanova in the post, you got to pay attention to the weak side movement. Well, the word you keep using when you talk about Villanova's offense, the spacing. Yes. Work in the post, but he's going to look opposite also. Inside, Dixon got deep. That was halfway down. And Dixon just could not finish. The Bonifitch, catch and shoot. I'll tell you, Eric Dixon, for him to take another step, as he's only a sophomore, he has to finish inside. Too easy. Dixon. Slater steps back. Edie contests, but Slater gets it to go. Good performance yesterday. Brandon Slater talked about Edie's improvement nationally. This kid's one of the more improved players in the country. Slater at 14 yesterday. Really nice growth he's had. In the freshman year where he barely played 50 minutes, a little over 50 minutes the whole year. Good job by Slater smothering the passer into the post. The first post defender is always the man guarding the ball. Edie gets it in. Can't convert. Good job harassing Zach Edie by the goal of the defense. Gillespie. This could be in front of 70,000 in four months. Edie Wood and a two-handed stop. Great job by Edie. He knows how to use his body. Review by a couple. Edie with eight of Purdue's 23. Championship game. Gillespie trying to turn the corner. Shot clock under 10. Slater. Dixon will try a three. Ivy pulls down the rebound. Purdue by a deuce. Stefanovic. Got it. Purdue is the only school that offered him a scholarship. Matt Painter just liked him. And they redshirted him, right? Five years worth of this. His release is so quick. Let's be good hustle to the corner. And an answer with a three right there from Justin Moore. Your best shooter. that they wanted as part of their culture. Exactly. And when you look at Villanova, Samuel Slater played very little as freshmen, but they worked, they worked. Again, these two teams right now, easily top 10 teams. I mean, that's a given. But they both target, both these programs target kids that are willing to be coached. No doubt about it. Voluntary cooperation? Is that Yeah, that's what Hubert Davis said. You said that about Pat Riley, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Gillespie thought about it. Yeah, he's trying to take the big guy. That's good D by the big guy. 
Slater flies in. They go possession arrow. But Purdue basketball. Stefanovic can't believe it. Thought he had it. And Slater fouled him. Make a little good effort right here. I thought I thought Gillespie should have driven this, but you see Slater reaches in right there. No foul. A little quick. I thought there was, I thought there was a little quick. Just like these two teams, we've got a final four officiated move. E.J. Carson's in Pete Kimball or Watson. Samuels on the or Earl Walt, I beg your pardon. Move the ball nicely. Thompson ends up with it as a great look. It ends up with more. At the corner. Caleb Daniels. And we're tied. That's so big, John. This young man suffered, you know, from myocarditis. Missed a lot of work in the summer and fall. Started out the season 0 for 9, but remember the Tulane transfer. A key factor for Villanova off the bench. Good to see him getting his swag back a little. Williams inside, shot, rolls off. This one has lived up to the bill and tied it 26, two of the top teams in the country. Samuels, as Williams contests, and that was halfway in. Now Ethan Morton. Morton, just the sophomore from Butler, Pennsylvania, mentioned yesterday. His high school basketball coach, former Major League pitcher Matt Clement. We've had a few discussions with him through yeah, the years. No doubt. And that one will go for Isaiah Thompson. He's really shooting the ball well this year. I mean, with the body type and wearing number 11, I, I, there's a chance I'm going to call him Isaiah Thomas at some juncture, right? Younger brother of PJ, PJ Thomas. No, I know. Sitting on that villain, uh, excuse me, Purdue bench. I think that's a key for Purdue. Can they get great play out of Thompson and Hunter at the point guard spot? Championship game, Purdue leading by three. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball at ABC is brought to you by Lowe's. The Cheese It Basketball Hall. Absolutely. He told us during the week that he felt the pressure of helping Greg Popovich win that gold medal. It was not easy, but they did have the great Kevin Durant. And, uh, Jay Rice done an amazing job. John, I, he and I go back to our days as assistants in the Big East in the late 80s, and he has not changed one bit. Lock. Shot clock winding down. Gillespie, step back, fires, and that one grazes the front edge of the rim. Purdue up three with the basketball. Closing in on the three-minute mark, John Chambi, Fran for Schiller. Our championship game with two outstanding teams. Watch this. This is a mismatch. Nice pass. And it gets away yeah. from Ivy. Up ahead, Gillespie. Hesitating at Gillis on him. Archie Diacono. I think the difference so far, it's only a three-point game, is Purdue has gotten a few better shots than Villanova. So credit Purdue's half-court defense. Haven't had a free throw in this game. Ivy, offensive rebound. Let's keep Kimball saying. He and Earl Walton getting together. Couldn't tell, but I saw the explosiveness. Got a foul on on. Uh, he's got a foul on Travion Williams inside. Keith Kimball. Matt, Matt Painter wants the basket to count. Let's watch now. That's a great drive by Ivy. Watch him hang, and then gets his own rebound. Watch watch Williams 50. Oh yeah, he yeah he he discarded him. Good call. Happened before the basket. They'll miss a couple, but these three guys are as, as good as you'll get in a game like this. 
Slater was looking to feed Dixon. Samuels now. Slater hesitates, goes up against Williams and puts it home. He is dynamite with that left hand. The shooting has improved dramatically, but the athleticism, you can see he's got very similar attributes to Ivy. Good flow to this first half. Again, no free throws attempted for either team. Watch the mismatch inside. Shot clock it... under 10. Hunter will try. Samuels the rebound. Villanova could take the lead with a bucket. Look how they crowd the lane on those post-ups. Got a clock warning coming. Moore will try. And hit Villanova leads. Yep. That's a flop warning on that post up. They let the play go. Moore hits the shot. Next time it's a technical foul. This is what they're trying to take out of the game. And that's clearly a flop right yep. there. And then they play it on. Ball goes in, DJ Carson and says, flop warning, Ivy. Any other flop warning today on Purdue will be a technical foul. One point game. Williams. Ivy tried to save it to Gillis instead. Villanova back with it. Daniels. They move the ball so nicely. And Samuels with an air ball. Under a minute to go. Purdue down a point. Williams nice. on the smaller Justin Moore. Moore did a good job. Villanova is a bunch of guys that could play linebacker. Yeah. But too much height. Daniels answers. That's a three. Caleb Daniels. And Villanova leads it by two. And Purdue will hold for one. Everything we thought, Mr. Shambi. Yeah, it has been fun. Number five and number six. Usually a, a rare after effect, but it does impact some people, and he dealt with it. And you look at after he came back from COVID, those are the numbers of the shooting percentage. He just was not right. That's right. He's a good player. Rare, rarely Villanova takes a transfer, but he went to St. Augs High School in New Orleans, the school that produced Kerry Kittles, a great Villanova guard. And of course, he's cut from the same cloth to be in this program. Good young man. Watch the drive here to the right. Here he goes. Ivy inside gets blocked. And good defense by Villanova. Great half of basketball. Just what we thought. Great matchup both ways. And uh, the thing that stands out to me for Purdue, plus eight on the glass, you would expect that with that great size. And again, no turnovers for Villanova. Against a Purdue team that plays good defense. So, Villanova by two championship game, and the Wildcats with the basketball. Dixon, nice. Edie charges him. And they end up drawing the foul, and Dixon will go to the line. Zach Eady charged with his first foul. We praised Zach Eady in the first half. He was four for six. But you can see why he played only nine minutes. He is a liability on the perimeter, and that time Dixon made him pay with that drive. And this is the first free throw attempt for either team here this afternoon. It really speaks to the flow that yes. we've seen in this game both ways scouting reports too. Villanova's done a reasonably good job in the post you know Villanova's gonna give up that two inside and as a violation right here doesn't matter and on the other side you notice when Villanova posts up there's five white shirts in the lane even on Gillespie the guards
Edie inside way too deep. Dixon fouls him on the floor. And for Dixon, that'll be number two. Now we mentioned it earlier. One of the things you have to do two things with this kid. You can front him, but you need great ball pressure on the perimeter. The passer must be the first post defender when you're guarding this kid. Stefanovic buying up Edie. Tries for first. Shot clock under 10. Thompson into Edie. Couldn't corral it out of bounds. Going over the ball. That post feed came from 30 feet away, and that's what we talk about. Perimeter ball pressure is your best friend in the post. I think that's why we're going to see more Travion Williams in the second half than Zach Eady. Let's go back and watch now. Watch the pressure on the perimeter. He throws this ball from out, out there about 30 feet away. Good job by Slater to front the post. Yeah, there's Travion Williams. He gets the second half, as he did the first, on the bench. Moore launches straight on and gets it to go. And all of a sudden, Villanova leading by seven, largest lead for the Wildcats. Call that a stack screen right there. Screen the screener, the shooter sets the second screen, and he's the popper. Good job by Moore. Let's watch now. Yeah, Keith Kibble initially signaled it was going to be Villanova basketball, but yeah. instead, they yeah. stick with Purdue. Yep. That's what we call a Spain screen right there, made famous by the Spanish national team. The screener ends up getting the shot. Boilermakers down by seven. Ivy. Edie on Slater off the glass and good. He's got 10. Amazing. He's automatic with both hands. This kid started playing basketball four years ago when he was 15. Okay, he was a high school pitcher. And he decided, you know what? All right, I'll try. I'll try basketball. I'll try basketball. and hands off Slater. Shot clock at five. Samuels wanders in, steps back, hits. And good job by Samuels as the shot clock was winding down. Absolutely. He had that clock in his head, you could tell. Very cerebral player as a senior. And I think they got Dixon again. If so, that'll be his third. Go well, back on the other end, John. You're exactly right. That clock is low. Samuels looked up already once. He knows he's got to get a shot up on the glass. And very, very good timing right there. Young man from the Boston area. He played very few minutes as a freshman, much like Slater. I mentioned Dixon that it indeed was his third foul, so he'll sit. Right now, Villanova switching to all five spots. They don't worry. They're not even worried about eating, but they have four linebackers out there. Inside first. And Caleb first will go to the line. Dixon got their weight, and I'm a big fan of this young man, Caleb first from Fort Wayne, only a freshman. He surprised some people during the summer by making the under-19 USA team. They won a gold with Ivy in first, and this kid is going to be a great boilermaker. Tennessee's Kennedy Chandler was on that team. We'll see him yep. in our second game. And we stand at freshman point guard. And we saw Chet Holmgren last week for Gonzaga, also a member of that gold medal team. Under 19 team, and there's the group on the Purdue roster. Zach Eady playing for Team Canada on the bronze. Gillespie keeping his dribble. 
Baseline, a little bit strong. First flies in for the rebound. Speaking of flying, here's Ivy. Now step back. Now back at it, off the glass. Edie, offensive rebound, and he puts it in. Amazing. He's got a dozen there within two. Yep. Jay Wright wanted him over the back, but I don't think he has to go over anybody's back. It's like Yao Ming out there. to five. Jermaine Samuels is one of the best shot fakers in the country, and that set it all up. Turnover as the intended receiver was Edie, and Villanova fired up doing the job of the defensive end. That Painters team down by five, 16-03 to go in the second half, and Edie will sit, and Travion Williams is in. So you sit Edie, and you bring in last year's first team, all Big Ten center. Not bad. Nine different Purdue Boilermakers have been starters for Matt Painter. Deep team. Gillespie kick out more. Moore with the bigger Williams on him. That's a two. And first rebound. So Purdue looks to chip away at that Villanova lead. Stefanovic. Wow. Quick release. Nice pass. Up ahead, Daniels. Couldn't finish, but they get the foul. And Daniels will shoot two when we come back. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball on ABC is brought to you by Lowe's. Jesus snacks are the most satisfying. Did, and again, they're not perfect. These kids don't make every shot. Coaches don't make every good decision. But we got three great teams out here today. Indeed. As Daniels will go to the line. Short on the first. Daniels, mentioned a native of New Orleans, transfer from Tulane. He had seven points in 18 minutes yesterday. And he misses them both. Let's see what Matt Painter's got coming out of a timeout right now. Obviously, a set coming. Most of them. That's Inside. Money. And one. Williams to the line. Uh, that's like having a that's like having a Jim Brown or a great running back in there. We're gonna just pound you. Watch. Set play. And if you're Jermaine Samuels, you cannot gamble on Travion Williams. Watch him go for the steal. That's a no-no. And a good finish. Good touch by the young man from Chicago who has gotten better every year at Purdue. Found out yesterday, 20 points in just the 13 minutes. That's insane. Improving his free throw shooting as well. Two-point Villanova advantage. being harassed now Dixon shot clock at six and they get a foul on Caleb first you know, week 11 Monday Night Football the Giants head to Tampa in a crucial game for both teams the three and six Giants need a win to get back in the hunt Tom Brady the Bucks have lost two straight they're an NFC South lead shrinking to a game over the Saints Comes up 8 p.m. on ESPN, ESPN Plus, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN app. And ESPN 2, of course, will have Monday Night Football with Peyton and Eli Manning. Coverage begins with Monday Night Countdown at 6 Eastern.
Watch this inbounds. This is one of the simplest inbounds plays in the country. They always get a good look. Samuels comes to the jump stop to the corner. Dixon rebounds the Slater miss. Shot fake. What they're doing is they're playing off Dixon. His man is playing center field. They're daring him to shoot the three. Gillespie can't hit, but Slater tracks it down and a foul of Purdue. Good effort on the glass that time. Purdue, Purdue's got size. Villanova using their, their athleticism right now. Slater. Slater excited the foul on Mason Gillis. Coming into this tournament, John Dixon only shot two threes. His man is now the center fielder of this defense. See how they double with his man? Inside, and Dixon rolls it home. The steal and the throwdown. And the lead is six. They tried to go high low, but Samuels read it and jumped the passing lane. Couple different ways they can throw it into Williams. Watch from the wing or the high post. Good hands by Slater. John, you remember we talked about the pressure being the best post defender that time? Samuels not only deflected it, but he gets easy too as well. Stefanovic has a good look at it, but that one's short. He's not found his stroke here today. Loose ball, and Williams comes away with it. Big guy hits the deck. First turnover of the game for Villanova. Stepanovich can't make him pay. Williams, though, underneath. And they get a foul on the floor against Villanova. And that will be Colin Gillespie. Yep. Colin Gillespie charged it out. You almost holds your breath every time Stepanovich gets that kind of look. Yeah, no question. Well, the display put on yesterday, 23 points, five three-pointers for Sasha Stefanovic yesterday. That might be... Yeah, it's number four. Yeah. On Eric Dixon. A lot of contact. No, Nova fans certainly don't like it. Emphasis this year on displacement in the post. Either way. That's a two. And a rebound by Daniels. Villanova with the ball up by six, under 13 to go. That's too strong. Loose ball out of bounds. And it'll stay with Villanova. Samuels one on two on the backside. And Purdue again can't fault the uh, era of commission right there by Purdue. Both guys Jay crashing. Jay Ivey will check back in. Ivy here in this one with five points. Stefanovic will take a seat. Done a good job on him today. Samuels tries. That's a two. And flying in. Newman for the rebound. Yep, that's displacement. Yep, you saw that coming. a foul right there. Saw it coming. Take a look now. Samuels knew that Williams got that last one. And that is, that's not a flop. You hold your ground, you take the blow. And listen, it can go either way, but the officials have told us before the season, we're not going to let the offense or the defense manhandle the other inside. He goes 6'10", 
265. Trevion Williams. No, Purdue fans are not happy about it. He, he and Samuels are having a great talk about it right now. At the top of the key at the other end. More hesitation. Picks up his dribble. Gillespie intended. Receiver was Samuels and Williams stepped to the passing Great lane. hands, great hands. Villanova creeping away just a little bit, not much. Samuels with the throw down. Team effort, take a look. They love it. Team, it's been a grind. But I think I've aged you well. Some might say perfect. Another game scoring. Yeah, but and Dixon, a guy, John, is in his third year at Villanova, but right. he's really a freshman because he redshirted year one. Last year was the COVID year where the NCAA gave everybody the free year. And I would expect Eric Dixon to graduate from Villanova with a master's degree three and a half seasons from now. And be a really good player, by the way, which we already see is about to happen. Good D. Good D. Williams on Moore. Slater. I think they got Morton on the foul. Yeah, they did. One thing that Purdue has taken away today, for the most part, is the ability of Gillespie and Moore to post up. That time on the switch, Travion Williams held his ground. The strategy changes a little bit right now for both teams with the 7 4 Eni coming back in. One in one spot. Both teams are the one in one right now. So a stark contrast from the first half where we had just more rhythm and flow to the offense. And fewer fouls, obviously. Slater hits the first. We talked about Dixon and we mentioned Slater yesterday, earlier today. You mentioned it, John. 54 minutes as a freshman. 12 minutes in the final 16 games of his freshman year and now as a senior he's earned the right to start and average 17 points a game eight point advantage for villanova biggest lead of the game for the wildcats samuels at 6-6 guarding Edie. pressure on the ball watch inside the Edie. That wouldn't fall, tipped out, and tracking it down is Hunter. Edie did an amazing job of tipping that out without fouling. Ivy takes off, that won't go. Loose ball, out of bounds, and it belongs to Villanova. Well, we talked about it earlier, you know, they're, Villanova has so many linebackers, they could play in a 3-4, okay? When you look at Samuels and Moore and Dixon, these kids have done a great job of holding their ground against the size of Purdue today. Purdue hasn't scored in four minutes. Feet inside more with Newman on it. We're backing down, step back, and it goes. Vinny Johnson, that's microwave stuff right there. Very patient in the post, and rarely today has Purdue given up that post up. 10 point lead, an 8 0 run. Williams answers. That time he was a little more delicate, but you saw the footwork, the patience. Goes again on the 10 minute mark. Oh, there it is again. Moore gets from straight up. That's the second time they've ran that screen the screener because Moore's man has to protect the rim. There's separation. He just pops out and he's got, uh, he's never going to hesitate on that shot. Yeah, no doubt. Newman 
That wouldn't fall. Loose ball. And it goes possession arrow, and it belongs to Purdue. Let's watch this, John. Just watch more. We don't have the telly today, but you'll see it's too late. There's the screen. His man has to help inside, and Justin Moore gets that separation. He is their best outside shooter and also a great post-up player. Justin Moore, along with those 13 points in the semifinal, and he had seven rebounds and six assists. He's had a really good day here today. You know what he is? The rare freshman that Jay Wright trusted. There's a dunk. Oh, he missed it. Ivy will try. And hits a three. Gaten Ivy. You know, he shot 26% from three last year. And we know how athletic he is. The fact that he's knocking those shots down, that's a great sign for Purdue all season long. Not to mention his bank account someday. To the corner, and Daniels. He gets another Caleb Daniels. Same situation. That time they hit the guy rolling to the rim. In traffic, he kicked it out. They're wearing Purdue out on the screen, the screener at the mid post. I mean, the and the stuff. The most impressive thing about Edie is he's got great hands. 14 points for Zach Edie. Moore tries. Ivy the rebound. To the corner. And Thompson, that's a huge three. Big look, too. And Ivy was under control. Yeah. And the crowd into this one. Lots of Nova fans, lots of Boilermaker fans. Gillespie wide open. Four straight times, they've run the same play, and they've got four threes. Matt Painter's going to have to adjust at the next time out. They've got to switch. Yeah, they get the foul that time on uh, Justin Moore. Championship game here in Connecticut. Villanova leads it by nine. Cheesy snacks are the most satisfying combination of crunch with the <laughs> cheese. With their delicious perfection. Cheese. It's not all about you, cheese. <laughs> you think I have a mouth? I'm a wheel of cheese. Got a point. Yeah. Jay Wright's team on a nice run, and they're up by nine on a really good Purdue team. And Edie makes the front end of the one and one. Remember Villanova, John, the last decade has been outstanding in November. They've been in ten tournaments. They've won seven. And these tournaments help both teams, no question about it. And Jay Wright has his team ready early, it would seem, and seven titles last 11 events. Pretty good. And an opportunity to take home another. Nova leads it by seven, close in on the seven minute mark. Right now, Villanova has five out, really. And they're going to make Williams guard out there. Great shot fake. Yep, by design. When you shot fake and the man is in the air defensively, you are to drive his hip so he has no way to get out of your way. Third foul on uh, Travion Williams. And it'll be... A one in one spot. Watch this shot fake now. Gillespie's going to take the contact by driving into Travion Williams' hips. And by the way, the left shoulder was uh, took a beating on that one. Short there. Williams the rebound. It's 
see if Purdue can chip away at the Villanova lead. Tops in, gets another. Great screen by Williams. He created separation. Gillespie was late. His third three of the game. And he's got nine. Same thing. Samuels rebounds the more miss. Samuels with Ivy on him. And Jaden Ivy fouls Jermaine Samuels. Take a look right here. Excellent execution. These teams are execution cultures. Watch the screen. That is textbook right there. Perfect screen by Travion Williams out of a timeout to get a hot shooter a great look. This is the first this week's Wednesday NBA doubleheader starts in Boston 7:30. JD and James Harden in the Nets taking on Jason Tatum and the Celtics and then after that Steph and the Warriors the NBA's best record they host the Sixers to finish up a six game road trip and hope to have Joel Embiid back in COVID protocol coverage starts with NBA countdown at 7 on ESPN. So Zach Eady back in here. And they try and find Eady and they turn it over. Yeah. Pass from Stefanovic off the mark. Too hard. And what happened was as soon as he got the ball, Stefanovic, he was crowded. And Sasha threw a fastball when Eady was looking for the curve. So they're going to just go offense defense right now, Matt Painter. Eady out. Williams a little bit more mobile in because Villanova's gone five out. Samuels is the center. Whoa! And here's Stefanovic intercepts the pass and lays it in. Oh, great read, but a terrible decision by Colin Gillespie. Gets down to three. Toss inside more to the corner. Daniels not able to hit. Samuels went flying. Great save by Ivy. Nice. And the feed, Ivy, the first time out. Villanova, a 14 4 run. And the Boilermakers within a point. Watch this hustle right, Ivy first. There's the finish at the end. 11 seconds today and he is essentially the head of the state for Villanova. Is he fatiguing? We'll find out. Eric Dixon back in with those four fouls. Villanova by one. And not letting Gillespie post. Keeps his dribble, shot clock winding down, and a foul. Great help, but you got to be disciplined enough not to reach in and realize he's about to take a tough shot. Yeah, they got on Travion Williams' is fourth. The flip side for Villanova is they've been a little spotty down the stretch with their free throws. Fans Feast Week rolls on tonight. Championships games. Championship games on ESPN and the app. The Shriners Children's Charleston Classic starts 7:30. Number 22, St. Bonaventure against Marquette. Immediately following, it'll be Arizona and number four, Michigan in the Roman main event title game. Uh, come your way from Las Vegas. Nova came into this tournament shooting 89% from the line, 6 of 11 here. Stefanovic finds Edu, throws it down. Now that painter's like, no foul? 
And not a travel because that's a bobble. A legal play and a great finish. Here's that stack pick and roll again. Moore hesitates. Ivy blocks it. Tied at 62. Ivy first. Boilermakers with the lead. They've made eight straight shots. Purdue by two. This is where Purdue's depth has been a huge factor. Villanova, no bench. Gillespie probing. Kick out more. Ivy contested. Samuels can't save Purdue basketball. Championship game, and this one has been outstanding. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball at ABC brought to you by Cheesy, Cheesy Crunchy Satisfaction. It's going to help them to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Purdue bench. Purdue by two with the basketball. 3.30 to go. And a championship on the line. And they get Slater as he fouls Ivan. That'll be his third. Jaden Ivey will go to the line. Has not shot a free throw here today. You know, with his mom at Notre Dame, we asked Matt Painter, how, what happened? How did you guys recruit him? He said, we were the first high major school to offer him before his junior year. Gets the front end. And Matt Painter and his staff have traditionally done a great job of finding these kind of players who buy into the... Uh, Gene Cady said it best. You play at Purdue, you have to be a company man. Got them both. Ivy with 10 in this one. Purdue, the lead is four. Had a good atmosphere for this one. Dixon going to work. Out of bounds. And it'll stay. Villanova basketball, 13 on uh, the shot clock, 307 on our game clock. Villanova's got to get the ball in bounds right now. Keith Kimball is getting ready to put that ball in play. Shot clock at 10. Great defense. Gillespie. And now Samuels. And Edie rebounds the miss. Purdue with the lead and the basketball. Outstanding defense down the stretch. Look at that pressure. Trying to get it inside. Ivy weaves through traffic to the corner. Caleb first. 23 to 5 run. Really nice look from Ivy. Under control. Exactly the kind of sophomore improvement that he's looked for from Ivy. Boy, is he delivering. Take another peek at that pass. Purdue by seven. He likes his point guards, but he said we'll only reach our potential if Jaden Ivy uses that athleticism to become a playmaker. Thompson's done a great job on Gillespie. They get Ivy, I believe. And yeah, that's number three. Villanova, 6 of 11 from the line today. 
And they've given up. When that run started for Purdue, they had a couple of empty free throw possessions. Remember when uh, our guy from New Orleans missed the first two? Okay, the Daniels missing as Moore gets the first. And both teams double ball this rest of the way. right there it'll be Villanova basketball 159 to go and Purdue is leading by six watch this inbounds play it's it's a simple one but Villanova usually gets something out of this watch Gillespie good switch Gillespie with Ivy draped all over him Used the ball fake, got the defender in the air, and now Ivy's got four. Gillespie on that drive often will make the Gretzky pass behind the net, but that time he realized if he pump faked, he could get the excitable Ivy, Ivy to bite. Do they actually call it the Gretzky no. pass? You call it the I Gretzky. It I like Gretzky. that. Yeah. That's, that's solid right there. Remember how good Gretzky was Absolutely. It's a, it's a good dated reference right yeah. there. I mean, That's I mean who thought the Edmonds and Oilers were making this broadcast? I, know. Like, I didn't see it. <laughs> Sorry. And Zach Eady stays in on offense. Ten. Gillespie gets them both. I know he's played for other teams. Yeah, he's an Oilers. He was a Ranger, too. He was a Ranger and a King. Little pressure now. One, two, two. This has been a lot of fun to watch. Two really good teams, and both sides making plays when they've needed to. Stefanovic. Oh, he's open. Tops it. Boom. Buries another. Yep. Ten straight field goals made by Purdue. And they're up by seven. And Isaiah Thompson is fourth three of the game. And great defense on Gillespie. Villanova out of sorts right now. Samuels bullies his way to the basket, draws the foul. He'll shoot two with 111 to go, and Purdue up by seven. Watch, watch, watch Thompson. See him set the screen. They both help on Edie. Too easy. A breakdown, but great execution. Only had three against North Carolina, a dozen today. That's going to be one of the. I, I contend that the game changed on some of those missed free throws when Purdue started to run. Remember, this team came in to this tournament shooting nearly 90% from the foul line. Wow. Yep. Nine of 17 from the free throw line, and that's been a big part of the story here today. Seven point deficit. That one tipped away. He gets it back. Inside. And one. Oh, boy. Zach Eady plus tax. Great hands. Take a look. Watch him bobble it. Recover. What a player. What a factor. Watch this. Great agility, man. You're talking 7 4, 290. That was a magnificent play. Buries the free throw. And Zach Eady, 21 points. And the Purdue fans loving it. Tonight's player of the game brought to you by the Basketball Hall of Fame, Zach Eady. Purdue by 10. Samuels can't hit. Tip, and it goes. Who got that? Was it Slater? Yeah, Slater. Was. Yep. So the kid from Canada 
pumped up. And Edie, our player of the game. Remember, Villanova led 57-46. They led by 11. Purdue's gone on a 29-10 run. And they've made 11 straight shots. I mean, think about it. Back and forth we go. I mean, Jay Wright's team came down, and they just they kept running that, that screen same the play, the yeah. screen, the screener, and getting threes. And on the other end, Matt Painter kept executing and executing and playing through the post. And I think you got to give Isaiah Thompson a world of credit today. Yeah. Not only because he made shots, John, he's an excellent shooter. And one of the questions about Purdue coming into the season is were Hunter and Thompson good enough to get this team to a Final Four because they have all the pieces. And these two young guys, Hunter at the line now, he started last year at the point. They rotate pretty good. Franny, one other note on Jaden Ivey. Ten points, but again, seven assists and seven rebounds. Impacting the game multiple oh. ways, had that big block. It's, it's all it's all Matt Painter talking about this to him during the offseason. Dominating with his athleticism every which way. And right there, Daniels knocks it down. Seven-point game. And the egoless team. Travion Williams oh, coming up with a win against a solid North Carolina group and 23.8 seconds away from securing a win against Villanova. Little pressure here. Obviously try to steal it first and foul immediately. That's a legal play. There's a turnover. Gillespie misses the putback Daniels. They inbounded it out of bounds to another player, which is legal. Villanova needs one more of those. And I think they got a foul off the ball. Yeah, got a foul on Caleb Daniels. So five-point game, and now march down to the other end and shoot two free throws if you're going over right now you're obviously hoping for two misses you'll take one but you have to have a three-point play coming up the court. oftentimes we'll say get the sure two set the press up but this is one of those cases where you need two threes and now you might need you know it might be a three possession game if hunter buries the second one Great matchup, John. Everything yeah, no I thought. Okay. Here we go. Gillespie. He'll give you the three. Good hands. Good hands by yep. Williams. It's a steal. And they foul Stefanovic. And that very likely will do it. Great scouting report defense right there. Travion Williams yes. with the active hands. John, he knew they weren't going to shoot the two because they were going to spray it out to the three-point line, and Travion Williams, a senior, he had his hands in the right place. Stavonovic gets the first. The lead is seven. I think Jay Wright is going to be sick about this because they made that run, but Purdue, this is why these two teams are elite. Inside Slater. That does count. But Purdue wins it 80-74. Cheese it basketball Hall of Fame tip-off and the